Hey everybody, it's Jerry. If you want to see what I carry in my short term bug out bag, then stay tuned. And if you like this kind of stuff, then hit the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, hit the like button. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. This is my short-term bug out bag. I've already got everything pretty much laid out here. I'm gonna show you piece by piece and tell you a little about it. But you know, short-term means you just going out for a day or so and uh, you have every intentions on coming back. Long-term, you just, <laughs> you, you, pack to the gills you know you, you stuff this bag and you have no intentions on coming back or you have intentions on coming back a whole lot later on a lot of people they, they figure well, I'll just take a little bit to come back and get some more later on but you probably not gonna be able to do that and if you do you want to just risk your life you know you risk your life you risk your family's life there's there's no need in doing that so just take what you can and make do with it. I've had a couple things out already. I was using my, my little stove, so I'm gonna show it first. I was already using it. This is the Newly Palm cook stove. It's a whole lot like a gasifier, and it burns very hot. So if you plan on using one of these, make sure you've got use plenty of wood laying around. It comes nested away in this. This is the big pot. This is the small pot. The small pot has three little bowls in it. There's a spoon. This is a little bamboo, wooden bamboo spoon. Three little serving size bowls, which these bowls probably be best to maybe use them to drink out of because they're not big enough to eat. <laughs> not for me anyway. It has a, uh, a a ladle, which you probably wouldn't want to use if it, what you were scooping out was extremely hot. And it has a uh, little spongy thing for cleaning up. Um, it also has a little pouch. It's a little black pouch, Velcro. It has your your silverware in it. It's the foldable kind. Just folds right out and it's got a little locking mechanism here it slides down to lock it it's pretty sturdy too I, I like these I like the whole thing actually I didn't I, I had mixed feelings whenever I first saw it but after I, I used it and everything it it works great the whole thing works great I enjoy it but that's for cooking you know Just one of the things I have for cooking. Here's my shelter. It's made up of a Height Guru hammock. This is the easiest hammock I've ever set up in my life. You can set this thing up in under a minute. It's a great damn hammock. And a Chill Gorilla 10 by 10 foot tarp. It's the ripstop material. This is not necessarily the color that I would choose. Mine is a different color. It's darker, earthly type color. This is a great tarp. It's a really good tarp. Between these two, you can't go wrong. This is my two top choices right here. Chill Gorilla Tarp with the Height Guru Hammock. Got 50 foot of paracord to string up your, your, your tarp with. For fire, I have a ferro rod with a lanyard, you know, and a striker. Here's a flashlight, it's the Haxtech flashlight. I can't, 
can't remember where I got this thing at, but I've used it a lot, and the sucker's bright. It really is very bright. I can see it outside here, and <laughs> it's, it's, it's bright. If you need to light up an area, this is the way to go right here. Processing wood. It's a little bearded axe type deal. I don't know what it's called, actually. But it's got a little digging tool on the back of it. Both good and sharp and ready to go. It's a great thing to have. It's a 55 gallon drum leader. Or, uh, yeah. That's a great thing to have too. You can use this for a bunch of different things. You can use it as a poncho. You can use it as a ground sheet. You can use it as a uh, shelter. There's just a lot of different options for this. It's a great thing to have. It doesn't take up much room and it's light. It's practically weightless. It's a great thing to have. In here, in this bag, all I have is, I have a few pieces of, of dry wood and a little chunk of fat wood. It's not a little chunk, it's a good sized chunk. I like fat wood. Between these two things, well, I'll tell you what, between a ferro rod, between a ferro rod and a piece of fat wood, you've got an instant fire, you got a for sure fire. You don't have to wonder and guess, oh, am I gonna have a fire tonight? Well, yes, you are. These two things, and they're pretty much waterproof. You can leave these just laying out in the weather and still have fire. And it smells good, too. I have this just because, just in case uh, everything's wet, get your fire going, throw you a little bit of wet stuff on there dry out while this is burning and you have fire uh, this is my water bottle kit I've got a few different things in it it's a Pathfinder water bottle in this this is not the Pathfinder uh, case but the Pathfinder water bottle is in this on the outside on a carabiner I have a small uh, what CRKT spork spoon thing tool it's got a few different wrenches on it right here you all know about these got a bottle opener Ugh. on the outside I have a pocket knife clipped onto it right here I have a little stove, this little fold out stove. Got a few coffees here. The uh, little uh, fire pellet things, you just strike these up, throw it in there, strike one up, and it burns. Just to help get another fire going. Little extra oomph to your fire. Throw twigs in here or whatever you want. Use it however you want. Put your little, little uh, alcohol burner or something inside there. This is a pretty good stove. I've, I've tried it out a couple times. I like it. And it fits good right here in this pocket. Which I have a few more coffees in. Three more coffees in there. Let me put that back in. Now, I ain't packed this bag for myself. I'm going to tell you guys why I packed it later on when I'm done showing you what's in it. You open the bag up, sitting right on the top. There's a little fire kit. This is a waxed bag. It's kind of a little hard to open, but it's still a good little bag. And it has my fire kit in it. It's a tin to make char cloth. I have a lighter. I have some char cloth, some flint, a, a steel striker, and some chaga. All used to start your fire. That was just, it fits perfect in the top of this bag. Top of that little bag, this thing fits perfect. My little fire kit does. 
cinch it shut. There you go. All right, now inside here still, there's another ferro rod with a, with a striker. Half inch ferro rod with handle and striker. Just a Pathfinder water bottle. It's a single, sing, single walled stainless steel, <laughs> single wall stainless steel water bottle. You can boil your, your water right inside that thing. Just don't put the lid on while, while it's hot or it'll melt. And inside there still is the nesting cup or the water bottle. You can cook in there, boil your water, whatever you're going to do. It's perfect. And the lid for the cup. It's lid for the cup. There it is. Help the bullet, help to hold in heat. Uh oh. My bottle hanger's not in there. I'll have to put it back in in a little while, I guess. I'll have to. Must be in one of my other bags. Alright. And still yet inside this bag. I don't have this thing packed full because it don't need to be. It's just a, 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 a uh, short-term bug out bag. Some duct tape, a headlamp, another small ferro rod with a piece of fat wood, and some quick start little tender things. That's still not it. Oh, wait a minute, it might be it. Yeah, that's it for the bag. Here's the Alonzo knife. This is a great knife. It is a really good knife. I didn't like it when I first got it, but I love it now. It's good and sharp. It's got a 90 degree spine in case you want to strike your ferro rod. Strikes a ferro rod great. Really great. All right, now I'm going to tell you why I made this bag. My brother-in-law is going on a uh, hike trip. He's going to hike the Appalachian Trail, him and one of his friends. And he don't have anything you know, to, to take with him, so I made up this bag for him to borrow. He's supposed to start a YouTube channel, or said he was thinking about it or something. So I figured I'd give him his first shout-out. Once it starts, I'll add a link to one of my channels where I'll come back here and I'll, I'll add a link to his channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll go give him some love. Give Brother Johnny some love. Now, this bag here, this is a Rothko bag. And it's a pretty damn good bag. It holds a whole lot more stuff than I thought it would. I mean, this, I've got right here everything that, oh, Everything that I would need for for bugging out short term. Well, hell, there's something I was sitting on. Some this is some uh, bank line. This is actually the the bank line that I always use to run my ridge line with for my tarp. Good thing to have is some bank line. The reason I put the reason the only reason that I, I put uh, put paracord in here. Because I think he'd probably like it better than bank line. I like bank line better than paracord. I know everybody else, you know, mostly everybody else, they they like like they, they like paracord. But I like bank line. <laughs> I like bank line and mule tape. That's my two go to cordage. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's all that's in here. He's going to be putting more stuff in, I'm sure. But I think I got got him enough stuff to uh, save his ass if he needs it. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. You guys take it easy. And be watching for 
for my brother-in-law's channel link to pop up somewhere and I'll see you later.